Hey, hey pirates. pirates! Seniors, the last grad night payment is due March 3rd. Go see Miss Bernice to make payment or make it online. Glow Rally will be February 17th during six period in boys gym. Bring your ID and wear white to stand out. Senior Panoramic is February 22nd during fourth period. Clubs Carnival will be February 24th, cash only during lunch. Valentine's Day Spirit Week. Today is anti-Valentine's Day. Thursday is night in versus night out. And no school Friday and Monday. Hey juniors, junior prom tickets are now on sale until March 9th. Ticket prices are $65 for Pittsburgh High students, $75 for outside guests. This includes Pittsburgh High seniors and underclassmen as dates to a junior or any other high schooler from other schools. Guest passes are available in P6, B121, or C103. It must be signed by Ms. Bonato in A140. You can buy your tickets during lunch or after school until 3.30 in C103. Junior prom will be March 12th from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Brentwood Community Center, at, and the theme is Great Gatsby. Boys soccer playoff game tonight at home. Football practice begins next, next week after school. Thank you. Have, have a, a great, great day, day, Pirates. Oh. Hey, good morning, you guys. This is Mr. Whitmire. It's great to see everybody. Hey, a couple of shout outs. I want to say a special congratulations to our girls varsity basketball team. They made the NCS playoffs, as well as to our boys varsity soccer team. They also made the NCS playoffs. That's the North Coast, North Coast section. Congratulations to both of you. You guys are awesome. Um, also, I just want to remind everybody that you have a four day weekend coming up. How exciting! Uh, you have Friday off and Monday off for President's Weekend, so I hope you guys get some well-deserved just time to relax and rest. A um, couple of other really important announcements is um, we're, we're having a, or we're, we're seeing a, uh, an issue that's continuing to um, come up, and that issue is students driving to school who, have, uh, who are missing either a, they don't have a driver's license, car registration or insurance or any one of those or it could be all three of those things so we've had to uh, call in a number of parents and their students fortunately officer fernandez has been wonderful about not towing and impounding vehicles and what i mean by that is technically if if you were caught without a driver's license um, he is supposed to take your car and impound it that means your parents would have to pay to get it out of impound but he is not doing that instead what we're doing is calling your parents asking your parents to come and pick up your car keys so please do not drive to school do not park on campus if you do not have a valid driver's license insurance car insurance and or registration um, you have to have all three of those things in order to park on campus and drive to and from school, okay? If, uh, again, this is a warning to you. We're not going to be offering many other warnings. So what could happen is you guys could end up having your car towed and impounded. could cost your parents $1,000 just to get it out of impound, okay? So, again, we don't want to see that happen, and that's not our goal. Another note, um, you know what's interesting, I've been uh, paying, I've met recently with our district technology department, and I wanted to find out how things are going this year since we're one-to-one -one with our Chromebooks. And what we've noticed since we've returned from the holidays is most, uh, about 60% of the Chromebooks that are being returned to the library due to damage, it's because of cracked screens. So typically several things are happening. You know, so you're stepping on your screen at home, you're leaving your Chromebook out, it's in your backpack, you throw your backpack down and forget your Chromebook's in there, it's cracking the screen. So when you return your Chromebook to the library and we issue another one, the good news is this. So once a year we can return the Chromebook for any damages to it. 
If it's a screen, it would cost you $60, okay? So we, we, what happens is we t send it back to the manufacturer and we have to pay $60. Obviously, I'm charging you the $60 because you broke it. So what I'm asking you guys to do as students is I need you to be very careful with your Chromebooks. The Chromebooks are about $300 new or $350 new. And we need you to take care of them. So that means don't throw your backpack backpacks around. Don't sit on your Chromebook. Don't leave it out um, on the ground. Please take care of these. You know, uh, many of you receive brand new Chromebooks this year. They're supposed to last us four years. So we've already this right now. Mr. Belante, who's our IT person on site, he shared with me that he has about 150 Chromebooks in the library that he's going through right now to determine what type of damage. And 60% of them that was so. 60% of 150 is roughly 90 Chromebooks. So 90 Chromebooks have cracked screens. So each of those students would be charged $60 that they would have to pay. Um, and again, it, it's silly. It's, it's not necessary. So please take care of this. You know, these Chromebooks are not for me. They are for you. On a last note, I want to remind you, we have a closed campus. So seniors, any of you on a four-period day, you must leave campus and go home at lunch. You can't hang out here on campus. You can't come back after lunch. If you do that, I'm going to put you back on a six-period day, so you will not have a four-period day. Um, and again, the reason why you have a four-period day is because you're either taking classes at LMC or you're going to work. Um, as far as everyone else, just a reminder, it is a closed campus. You may not uh, leave campus during the day. That means you can't go down to the... Um, taco uh, store, the burrito store that's by City Park over there, you need to stay on campus. And what we've done, if you guys have not noticed, is on School Street between Peaside and the main building, we've allowed a few vendors to come on campus there. So take advantage of those. But if you're caught going off campus, you will be sent home for two days. Because again, we're, we're having an issue with students being off campus, and we've issued reported uh, repeated warnings to students. So you have to be on campus every day. You may not leave campus. You can't go up to Angelo's Pizzeria. You can't go out to your car that's parked on 17th Street. You can't hang out in your car that's parked on Norton. You have to be on campus. We're responsible for you. Closing note, um, I do just want to remind everybody, trash. You know, we really need your help, you guys. You know, there's 3,400 students here on campus. You know, during the school day, we have three custodians. Um, it's not many, and they need your help. We need your help. Please pick up after yourself. Let's have a, a clean campus. I have noticed an improvement, but we still need your help, okay? So on that note, you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you.